February 12, debts repaid. Swiftly fell the forest, tree murdered after tree, the creatures fled, dying or dead, mercy, nowhere to be seen, heard or even had. Tree after tree after tree, falling fast, processed and packed, and not a boot touched the ground, skimmers slid on beds of air, slicing, stacking, bearing timber, meat and plants to the shuttle field, to wait for loading to be lifted away into the air, leaving behind a world strip mined, its bounty stolen and taken starward, by thieves unscrupulous as distant suns, their hearts warmed by profit, their hearts shuttered, tight closed, solid, and protected against the screams, the earth lying barren in their shadows, destroyed, broken, perhaps beyond repair, but not beyond revenge, long dead. Hired hunters track their prey, angels avenging those left behind, who try to discover a way to bind the wounded land to hold what's left, until more aid can come, summoned to fulfil the promise made, so long ago to pay a debt, far greater than they'd ever thought to owe. They come bearing seeds harvested before, when they came to give thanks to a world whose people came in their time of need and war and fought to free a folk and world from invaders who sought to subjugate, to yoke and steal, all life, all hope, and who were chased to distant stars, never coming back, this monumental debt left behind, with no expectation or hope there would be a future in which it was repaid. But now, with gratitude and interest, while others are paid to hunt the stars and cleanse away the stain of thieves who prey on worlds without defence, are forests re and creatures remade, and friends and friendships formed from debts repaid, a new alliance made between people standing, giving, and giving hope with gratitude long stayed.